First up for you this morning, we've got Lou Van Gaal is getting back in from probably the last place he wants to get back in from, David Moyes. Moyes has uh, had an interview written up in The Guardian. It's an excerpt from the Claire Balding show on BT Sport, which is going to be shown at 8 o'clock tonight, where he's come out and he said he thinks Lou Van Gaal should be given time. Didn't think Manchester United was the sort of club that was going to be continually changing managers. Coming across just a little bit bitter about his time. He says he thought he would have done things a little bit differently had he known he was only going to get 10 months and not the six-year contract that he was given. Well, the thing is, David, the minimum expectation was Champions League football. As soon as that was mathematically impossible, you was out the door. So I don't think you can have any complaints there whatsoever. You took the champions from first to seventh. That can't be happening, can it? Next up for you today, we've also got Gary Neville speaking about managerial changes. Gary Neville has come out and said that there is... I can assure you that won't happen uh, and that's him in response to being linked with the England job and the Manchester United job when you drill down into the comments actually and his actual quote he says in the next six months he will not be taking over England or Manchester United he doesn't say ever and I think he's quite right he's a manager with basically zero experience he's an excellent TV pundit because he's got a few years experience in it but as a manager he's got no experience in it whatsoever he's got a month or so so to ask him to take on the either the England job or the Manchester United job after such little time is ludicrous so I think he's absolutely right and maybe it is one for the future but in the next six months Gary Neville is absolutely spot on it's not for him next up Dennis Law has been given a commander of the British Empire award in the New Year's honours list um, took a long time to be recognised one of the few British players with a Ballon d'Or to his name so it's absolutely right that he's getting it should probably be a sir in the grand scheme of things anyway shouldn't he uh, next one we've got transfer rumours now sports witness as usual are doing a fantastic job of breaking down this Damian rumour a couple of the nugget sites have been uh, completely hooked in by this Juventus director on his way over to Manchester to speak to us about Damian sports witness break it down they trace it back to some um, newspaper that they're not even sure is a newspaper over in Italy with only 399 followers on Twitter it's a complete mistranslation. It says Juventus have flown in for Damien, meaning that they've, they're they interested in Damien. Not that anyone has actually got on a plane and come to Manchester. Um, and they, they say Damien's out of favour with Louis van Gaal. Damien's been injured, so that's the reason he's not been playing. It's a, it's a great article. It's the, it's the typical sports witness thing of drilling down, finding the bullshit in a transfer rumour and giving you the absolute truth. I love Sports Witness for this, it's fantastic. Uh, and then, in complete contrast, The Express linking Christian Zapata with a move to Manchester United. What they're actually doing is they're linking him in a move to Everton, and I think as it's gone to press, the editor's gone, hmm, no one's going to click on that if it just says uh, Zapata to Everton. Throw United in there as well. So he's been linked to United and Everton, but I know what he's up to. We're on to you there, mate. And Fergie's birthday today. So big birthday for Sir Alex Ferguson. All the talk around the managerial changes makes you <laughs> realise what an absolute genius that we had in Sir Alex. Following him is the hardest job in football. It's one of those, isn't it? Thanks for watching. Give us your thoughts on the Sports Witness Damian rumour. Give us your thoughts on the, the Zapata rumour. Give Dennis Laura a big well done for his CBE that he's just been awarded. And what was the other two that we had at the top? Oh yeah, Gary Neville and David Moyes. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the new year. Whatever you're doing tonight, have fun and we'll see you soon. Goodbye. A youngster that we are apparently interested in. 19 years old, from Everton. His name is Joe Williams. So he's cemented a place in that Everton under 21 team. 